Hello, Holy Wiremod here. Welcome to the 12th tutorial in the GLUA Pro series where we're going to be taking a look in the introductory to add ons and also modules. So let's start with our print command, which is going to print to the left hand side console. Of course, from the last tutorial, we have the auto include and auto add CSLUA file. And let's start with showing you the file structure. Now, we did cover this in the second tutorial. So, what we're going to be doing though is a refresher here. So, in modules, you need to actually put a module into the Lua folder and then you go to includes modules and this is where you want to put your stuff however it's usually best right here to actually make an add-on so we're going to go to an add-on right here and we're going to create a new add-on following the same file path so let's just call this my add-on you can name it whatever you like of course and then let's go to make Lua actually so we go into the Lua folder and we're going to be then going to includes, then modules, and then here is where we're going to be making the module itself. So let's just call this my library. All right, and now we open it up. So with a module, essentially what you want to do is you start with the module command as such. Now this is a global call, so we're going to name it my library. You recall with libraries in the table tutorial that we simply had the name of the library and then we had some function associated with it. So for example, we have math and then we had pi, that was a constant, and then you have some other functions that you also have there. So how we do that is we're going to just simply make my library. So that's going to be the name that you put up here. And then we're going to say constant, and we'll just say our constant in this case is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then let's make some functions for my library. So let's make a basic function. We'll just gonna call it soup and you already know what it's gonna return, I'm sure. Alrighty. And then let's make another function. And we're gonna call this one roll. And it's gonna have an argument number. And we're going to return from the math library, random one to num. All right. So What's very important when you're making a module is when you use another library, it's usually a good idea to make that library local. So how you do that is you take the whole table, you say local table, which is math in this case, so local math, and then we're going to set it equal to the math library. All right, so now when you call anything from the math library, that'll be as such. So for example, if you're also calling from the AI library, you do that, and then you'd make your calls down here and whatnot, and so forth. Lastly, before concluding this file, you also have the option to uh, make this uh, involve meta tables and whatnot. I'm going to get into meta tables in the next tutorial, so don't worry about it too much. Let's save this, and this is not required for it to work, just to note that. And let's go back into init.lua. So with init.lua, how we actually add this library, well, first off, we need to restart the server. Very important, so I'm just going to take a moment and restart it and I'll jump to when it's started. Okay, so the server is now restarted, and we now have this new add-on we created loaded into the server. So that was the uh, reason for restarting, elsewise it's just gonna give an error saying we don't know how to find this library. So how you find a module after you put into the require folder, or includes folder rather, is you use require, and that will get the name of the, um, the of the module we just created. So now let's actually print out some stuff from there. So we have my library and we'll have constant. And then let's get our two functions. So we'll have soup. And lastly, we'll have roll. You remember we specify the number of the sides of the die. I'll just put a standard six here. And there you go. We have soup is good and the constant and our roll. So let's make a 20 sided die. So for you who love role playing and all that stuff. That's how you'd make a successful die. And there you go. We see we get random numbers from one to 20. All right, well, that's gonna include modules. I know it's a pretty um, short video. Again, like I said, we're gonna get into meta tables into the next tutorial. And later in the series, we'll cover some more stuff you can do with add-ons as well. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. As always, if you like the content, feel free to like, subscribe, share, and bell. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Hexane Networks for affordable and high-performance server hosting. That's Hexane Networks, whose link is in the description below.